Effects pedals, they've been around for ages, and though primarily designed for guitar, over the last few years have become increasingly popular among synthesists. So much so, in fact, that many pedal manufacturers are now making units with electronic musicians specifically in mind. And despite all that, they're not really something I've ever gotten into. For the most part, my effects needs are pretty happily met in software. Uh, viewers of the channel will know that I'm quite fond of my Behringer VP1 Phaser and my Tom's Line Octopus, as well as running things through tape, but that pretty much covers it for me for outboard gear. So when Greg Lounsbury of Lounsbury Pedals reached out and asked if I'd like to take a look at one of his units, I wasn't entirely sure I was the right man for the job. But this pedal exists for a specific reason, and I find that specificity fascinating. And it makes me want to use it for other stuff. So it is with great pleasure that I introduce you to the Lounsbury Pedals Organ Grinder. <laughs> Now, before we continue, I would just like to make it clear that Greg did send me this for free, but has absolutely no say over the content of this video. If you like what I do, you can let me know by leaving me a comment, a like, or by subscribing to the channel. And if you really like what I do, you can buy me a coffee or purchase some of my music from Bandcamp. All right then, let's get on with the video. So what is the organ grinder? Well, it's an overdrive pedal, but as the name suggests, it's one tuned specifically for organ sounds. Because in this day and age, very few people can afford the cost or the space of having something like a genuine Hammond organ in their studio, and I bet even fewer people would want to take one out gigging. And so the organ grinder serves to transform your clone wheel or digital organ samples from this into this. Add a bit more grunt and you can go from this to this. Add a little reverb and your previously ordinary organ sounds pack a punch. Right, well I think that's quite enough of what it was meant for. Let's plug a synth into it. Okay, so here I have my Arturia Mini Brute. Uh, I've chosen this synth in particular uh, because it actually has an inbuilt overdrive that I'm not very fond of. So I figure the organ grinder would probably do a better job uh, and perhaps we can compare the two. Uh, but first of all, I, I've just set up a very, very basic sort of synthy bassy sound. You know, the Mini Brute's great. We all know that the Mini Brute sounds fantastic. So let's uh, shove up the brute factor a bit, the inbuilt overdrive. And you can hear it does overdrive, but like the moment that you get about a third of the way around the knob, it kind of starts to become unusable. What's the point of that? Right, so that said, let's see how the organ grind affairs. Night and day. Without, with, and that's, that's with a teeny weeny amount of overdrive. Let's crank it. Well, if that's not massive and warm and fat, I don't know what is. And 
just a reminder without. It sounds a bit weedy in comparison now, doesn't it? It's not. Let's maybe do something a bit more subtle for a moment. That's lovely. Um, okay, let's change the sound a little bit. Um, let's give me some triangle. High pass. Uh, band pass, sorry. Okay, so that's pretty thin. Let's see if we can fatten it up with the organ grinder. Yeah, we can. Yeah, I'm never using the brute factor again. You can actually hear how it's kind of compressing the sound as it's overdriving it, which is actually quite nice. All right, let's do something a bit bass here. You know, it's still an alright sound, but come on. Okay, I could get lost in that all day. This is a good pairing. I'm, I'm digging this. But it has just made me think, I do have another unit with an inbuilt distortion, and it's a drum machine. Okay, so here I've got the Akai Tomcat, a drum machine I know people don't like. I do like it, so shut up. Uh, but it also has this inbuilt drive. Uh, it's not as bad as the one on the Mini Brute, I will say. It's called, what's it called on this? Maul. Maul, because it's the cat. Ugh, dreadful. The Maul function. Um, well, is this off? Yes, that's off. So the, the Maul function. Here's a kick drum. Beefy, sure. Or at least it's beefy in headphones, whether you think it's beefy or not, I don't know. But let's bring them all up. It's noisy and has some grit to it. I, It's okay. But, organ grinder. Ooh. See, that's like bitty and, and crunchy and noisy. But the organ grinder, that's a lot smoother. Definitely sounds better on the snare. Yeah. The snare, the snare on the Tomcat is rubbish. 
generally speaking. So, you know what? I think that helps. Uh, yes, let's really crank it. You know what, I'm, I'm actually digging this quite a lot. Uh, snare's rubbish though. Yeah, just dial that back a little bit. Okay, I'm sold. I mean, I, I've tried it on a mono synth and a drum machine, and I'm already like, this is being added to my arsenal. Uh, you may notice we're off script at this point. This is the, the less professional part of the video. I'm just liking it. I don't know what else to say. I'm just liking it. Oh, you know what? This is the Tomcat, and we haven't tried it with the Toms, have we? Let's... Disco Toms. Let's grind them. Okay. Okay, let's uh, mold them. Gritty. Organ grinder. Come on. It's just too good. What else is there to say? What else can I shove through it? All right, it's good on guitar. It's good on bass. bitchin with the weird sound generator And you know what it actually clips the top off my theremin sound quite nicely Works on jaw harp. This is really silly. I've got to be honest with you, this video has gotten away from me a little bit. Uh, but suffice it to say that the organ grinder is a really gorgeous sounding overdrive that works on a lot of stuff, and I'm going to use it on a lot of stuff. Uh, if you'd like some more information or to pick one up for yourself, you can head to loungeburypedals.com. Uh, I'm going to leave you with a little jam. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving me a comment, dropping me a like, subscribing to the channel. Uh, you can always buy me a coffee or purchase some of my music from Bandcamp. Uh, but for now, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.
Thank you.